one of the things that crossed my mind, and we discussed this momentarily, uh, when I hear the conversations about uh, responses to what went on, uh, and in particular, the, the subsequent decision is about what UCPD will be allowed to do and not allowed to do. What troubles me is I hear conversations amongst students, amongst parents, that signal to me that we are thinking of UC as insular from the surrounding communities. The conversations are saying, who will protect us? But who is the us? And they're, they're visualizing UCPD as defending UC against surrounding communities as opposed to protecting the communities. That's problematic. And I think that one of the things that comes out of this, that needs to come out of this, is stepping beyond just thinking about UCPD. <laughs> stepping about beyond just thinking about policing in general. This is an ideological problem. This is racial ideology. This is class ideology. And UC needs to be part of the solution for that. We are in the community, but not of the community, and we need to change that. So that is what should be central to us. This is an important part of it, but I'd like to be uh, active, not only in just having discussions. We, we have conversations all the time. You know, I'm 35 years old. I've been having conversations since I learned to talk. But we need to start moving towards some action steps. Uh, and I hope that you know, in this healing process, we will think of these action steps that not only benefit us as the immediate UC community, but the community that UC is uh, an active part of as well, being these surrounding neighborhoods. Thank you for sharing.